Okay, I'll do it now. Hey everybody, this is Monumental. Um, I haven't beaten Boss Guard, but I'm going to give you my thoughts video on it right now anyway. Uh, it's a multiplayer game. I think it's going for about 10 bucks right now, usually maybe $15 uh, on Steam. Just released last week, uh, April 18th or something like that. Um, it's okay. I, I would need, I feel like it would be fun with a group of friends. Uh, it is very repetitive. Not necessarily in a bad way, it just depends on how you like your games. Not not really for me. Um, usually I'm more of a story player, like story-driven game kind of guy anyway. Um, and playing this particular game without friends, I would not recommend. Um, it seems a little grindy. Uh, you have to do a good amount to get uh, your characters leveled up and fight in a certain way. Uh, I do think there's good diversity here. You have 10, 10 different characters five what I would call squishy long-range characters and five uh, you know bulky tanky characters with good health one of my major issues with this game is that the divide between the tanky characters and the squishy characters health wise is enormous um, I used to get I would get one shot with some of my squishy archer characters whereas my tank characters have what I would consider to be a very fair amount of health um, and in that regard, I, I just didn't like the class divide. There was only one ranged fighter that I liked, uh, where there, whereas there were three tank fighters that I really enjoyed. Now, in this game, you also get to pick a boss. You could play as the boss character. It is an all-nine multiplayer game, so it would be you as the boss versus five other players who are playing as Vikings. And uh, this boss here that you can see, this uh, piece of bread, is the worst boss by a lot. There are also four other bosses. I think there's five total. There's a plunger, there's a die, there's a fortress, and there's a jackhammer. And of those, I would say the plunger was actually my favorite to play as. The fortress was really boring to play as, but seemed extremely strong. And same with the die. The die was weird to play with. I didn't really know what it was doing, but it also seemed really strong. Now this piece of toast that you see over here, awful. I don't think it even moves, so I don't recommend playing as the piece of toast. I'm sure it moves and maybe I just couldn't figure it out, but the same keys I was using for every other boss didn't seem to work for that one. Um, all in all, I'm going to give my, uh, what I usually do is I give a subjective rating, I give an objective rating, the subjective rating based on my preferences. And based on my preferences, this is like a five. Not a great game in my opinion. It's just not my it's just not my type of game arena battling multiplayer online with friends where it requires you to have buddies not my type of game um objectively a six i still don't think it's that great um it is it is funny it has character to it uh i could see it having like a cult following but i just don't think there's enough there's enough layers there i just don't think there are enough pieces to keep this going and to keep uh, the community growing over a long period of time it is not a bad game by any means i had fun playing it for the time that i played it would not highly highly recommend this game uh, to somebody else both from a subjective and an objective perspective so that is my thought on uh this is called boss guard b-o-s-s-g-a-r-d um but yeah uh leave your comments below let me know what you think about it